Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've been following along with my videos, you may have noticed that I've been a little MIA for a while now. Uh, this is because I was actually in the hospital recently for about two and a half weeks. Um, I suffer from depression and anxiety along with some PTSD and BPD or borderline personality disorder. And basically, I'm not gonna go into everything in this video, but my depression had gotten really bad to the point where I actually checked myself into the hospital just to keep me safe. Um, I have been doing a lot better since I got back, but of course, I still have those down days and so I thought for my first video back, I know you guys like the cleaning videos, but I thought I would tailor it a little bit to how I manage to clean my house when I am dealing with my depression. Um, why don't we start by saying that how I clean when I'm depressed is usually that I do not clean at all. When I'm depressed, I only have enough mental energy for so much. And right now, my daughter, Amelia, takes priority. So even on my worst days, I still manage to kind of go through the motions of keeping her fed and clean and played with. Um, however, that means that other things kind of take a back burner. For instance, yesterday was one of those days. I was kind of having a not so great day. Everything was feeling a little bit pointless. Um, and I did not do anything. I made a mess and did not clean any of it up. As you could see from that first clip, my house was awful. So um, today I was feeling a little bit better though and I felt like I could tackle some cleaning and this is by no means a deep cleaning. This is just me focusing on getting things a little bit more put back together. So right now I am just emptying the dishwasher because I had cleaned some dishes before I left on a trip. So we had been gone for the weekend before, then I came home and left right away again to visit a friend. And then this was me coming back yesterday, just was not feeling it. And so now today things have accumulated, but I did do a load of dishes before we left originally. <laughs> um, so unloading those and then reloading the dishwasher. One of the things I like to do when I have enough room in the dishwasher is to take the sink drain stoppers along with the stovetop drip pans. I'll take all of those out and put them in the dishwasher. It usually cleans them up really well. Um, I usually put our microwave plate in there also. So loading that up and getting that started. Like I said, we had just gotten back from Two trips actually and I had not yet unpacked because I was not feeling up to it so on my list of things to do today was at least to get our suitcases put back um, where they belong so I'm just emptying emptying out the small one first and then I'm going to get to the big one which was on our countertop for some reason And then I'm just giving the countertops a quick wipe down. This is again, by no means a in-depth cleaning, just getting it more presentable. Um, I think sometimes as a society, 
we put a little too much emphasis on finishing things. You know, if you don't finish your homework, you get an incomplete. If you don't eat your dinner, you're not getting dessert. If your room's not spotless, you don't get to go play. I mean, we've probably all grown up with that kind of attitude that unless it's 100%, it doesn't really count. But then what about that 70, 80, 90% of effort you put into something? Does that mean it was for nothing? No, that was still a lot of effort. You're still 70% further along than it was before. So if you only get half of your dishes done, that does not mean you failed at doing the dishes. That means that you succeeded in doing half of your dishes and getting your house that much cleaner. My house is nowhere near perfect or finished after this video, as you will see. I mean, there's definitely spots in the sink that I could have scrubbed more. I should have dusted our TV stand and I did not even sweep, even though it really needed it. But you know what? That is okay. Because even though it is not 100% done, it is a lot better. And being in that a lot better environment that is less cluttered and more put together, helps me feel more calm and less depressed. I do want to say that this video is not for someone who is depressed to find and say, What's the point? There's no way I could do even half of that because we are all at different levels. We all have our better days and our not so great days. Like I said yesterday, I didn't clean anything. Today I cleaned some, but I had to take some breaks in between and I even took a nap before I got started on this dining room part. So maybe all you can manage today is doing your dishes. Maybe it is just stacking your dishes so that they seem less overwhelming to do tomorrow. Maybe all you could do was to get up, shake the crumbs from your bed sheets, and crawl back in. That's okay, I have been there. The point of this video is just to help you to do what you can and then feel good about it. One thing that I like to use when I am really depressed and can't even think about cleaning for 10 minutes is the one minute rule, which is basically saying that if it can be cleaned or put away in less than one minute, you do it right now. So for example, maybe the only time that you get up today is to go microwave a frozen dinner. While that's cooking in the microwave, See how much of the counter you can clean off or unload some dishes. You'd be surprised by how much you can get done in a minute. Um, and a minute doesn't usually seem overwhelming. So for me, when I'm really depressed, sometimes a minute cleaning here and there is all I can do. But that minute makes it better than it would have been otherwise if you had not spent that time cleaning. And that little bit of activity can do a lot of good for your mental state and helping you to feel accomplished and more productive. I am just finishing straightening up the living room right now. I only focused on the main living areas of our house, the kitchen, the dining room, the living room. Like I said, I didn't do everything, but I think we can say that it looks a lot better. And that's about all I have for the video today. So just remember, it's okay to just do what you can. It's okay not to do anything at all. Just take it one day at a time. Don't compare yourself to others and know that you are doing the best you can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you would like to see more, and hopefully I see you in the next video. Bye guys.